In this video, I'm breaking down some of my top travel videos that we shot all around the world, and comment if you've been to any of them. First up, the London Eye. Oh, I always thought this was a fun little trick with the London Eye. All the people on the carousel are like, no, help us. The challenge on this video is that I had to first remove my actual bike tire and then grab the delicate prop and put it on, but it wasn't always fitting properly. Most of our takes failed right there when I was trying to put on the bike tire. Sometimes when we're shooting in public, I'll meet a lot of fans. So it was cool that they all started crowding around and then at the end, we got a bunch of photos. Since we're in London, we're gonna hop over the river and just go to Big Ben. What is this guy up to? He's always up to no good. He's a, a watch thief, a pickpocket. So you see these three people right here in the background? Those are actually fans that we met on the bridge while we were filming and we we're like, hey, you wanna be in a video? And it was perfect because they actually are the ones that hide most of the crowd and are doing the reacting. So it was serendipitous that we ran into them. Speaking of like serendipity, this is really weird. The bus says Zachariah Tours. That was not added later. That is a real bus that happened to drive by. Weird. So who knew that a trip to Southeast Asia would completely create this awesome short film series called Stranded? So I've been writing a short film and it worked out that I was speaking at a conference down in Southeast Asia. Since my production team was with me, I was like, let's hop over to this island and shoot our short film. Turns out that hop and a skip was like multiple boat rides, bus rides, ferries, boats, small charters. The island was really small. It was like one to two square miles of space. It was amazing because it had a jungle location for us. It had the beach location, but the best part was the staff. They were actually down to like help us dig holes. They cooked us amazing meals. Thank you to the staff at Pankill Island. Next up, we're going to Stonehenge. Hey, will you get a photo for me? Yeah, sure. Okay. So I'm visiting Stonehenge here and, oh, don't lean on it. Nope, mm, told you. Knew that was gonna happen. They're like dominoes. Yeah, just leave, just go. Just go before it falls. Mm. Stonehenge has so many conspiracy theories, myths, and lore, but I just want to explore the idea that it kind of looks like dominoes. I underestimated how hard this would be. I thought it was going to be like a walk in the park. Oh, we'll go to the Stonehenge location. We'll shoot it in an hour. We'll be done. Mm -mm. Wrong. This was really complicated. There was something we didn't think about. The wind. Oh, no. They're blowing over in the wind. We start shoving rocks, camera batteries, and tools into the bottom of the foam to get them to stand up a little better. It was so frustrating. This is one video that we almost gave up, but we finally got it towards the 60th take and it turned out great. Next, to Pisa, Italy. Looks a little crooked. It does. It looks like it needs to move a couple of inches towards you. Okay. Uh, Adam, what a funny guy. And what a sport. He was down for anything, except for going to the real tower because that would be a long trip. So I know I'm kind of infamous for saying I don't use a lot of green screen, but this video was a little different. It was a special circumstance because we had Adam Savage who wanted to do a video. And because we both couldn't line up our schedules to go to Italy, we sent some of my producers to get the real footage. So when we came back to shoot with Adam, we knew the exact proportions that this prop had to be. At first he was gonna build it by hand, maybe using like straws for the pillars, but he decided to 3D print it in the end and it gave us just an incredible detail. I mean, it was beautiful. And then he painted it and textured it. And what was really cool and unique about the prop is he created a counterweight system that also had magnets so it can lock into place when it was angled and then lock into place when it was straight vertical. So thank you, Adam, for making that prop really special. And this next video takes us to South Korea. Hedge in the bushes and the topiary comes alive. The little elephant, he's so cute. Um, but you never mess with a baby elephant because the mom is always nearby. The real magic of this video, however, is done in post-production. One of our animators, Kijan, took the video, he modeled the elephants, created a whole rigging system. Some of the early drafts were giving us some weird 3D glitches, which is always scary to see when you're in the midst of a project. Eventually, he figured it out, and today it's one of my favorite animations that we've done. Way to go, Kijan. Now we're going to Los Angeles, California, where we shot with Shay Mitchell at a beach. All right, so I can book you on the Desert Dune. We got Paradise Island or Yosemite. Uh, Paradise Islands. Oh, good choice. So you are booked. Something's fishy about that poster. Oh, 
Uh, wow. Actually, it was really difficult to light that to ma make the lighting not seep into the set there because that was practically built. The crazy thing about that video was we didn't check the tide report because we had built the set on the beach in LA and by the end of the shoot, the water was like starting to hit the set. We're fighting a tide. There's actually a tide that's quickly approaching. So if you ever shoot at a beach, make sure you check the tide report. Next up, we're heading to New York. I'm gonna get a selfie with Lady Liberty here. Excuse me, can I get a photo? Watching this back now, the statue actually looks like CG and animated, but what's crazy is we did that for real. I went to New York, I shot the plate, and then when I came back to LA, I felt so bad because we shot the other plate with the gal who was the Statue of Liberty, and we had to cover her in paint and latex and glue stuff. And she said it didn't come out of her hair for like a week and a half, so sorry. Next up, we're going to South Korea. Uh, very hard. Ugh. First off, we didn't expect how difficult it would be to stab this little tower miniature that we had made into a foam covered apple. I know you're gonna be like, well, why don't you try tape or glue or carving out the hole differently? We literally tried all of that. This video was getting to be like our 80, 90 take video and it just wasn't working. And on one of the takes, it almost rolled off the cliff on the tower and we would have been done. As soon after we finally got it, we don't even talk about this video anymore. Also, while we were in South Korea, I've always wanted to film at one of these 3D billboards. And what's fun about it is we were met by one of our fans in South Korea, Eun Jae. He's actually made some of his own magic videos himself, so we had him out and he helped on the crew. And the fun part about this video was getting splashed by my producer over and over and over. Next up, we're going to an airport near you. You're pre-approved, go ahead. Next. Oh, the rainforest, that sounds fun. Hey, you might need this. Have a good trip. Oh! Fun fact, right there, at one second, do you see two of me? Look closely. Yep, there I am in the background. We didn't hire enough extras that day, so I decided to walk in that background. I've always wished that airport security door could be somehow like a portal to your final destination. But the funniest part of the shoot was just that we put our producer in the gorilla costume, and so they're just tackling our cameraman, Nate. Next. <laughs> So let me know if you've been to any of those places. And if you enjoyed the behind the scenes here, I have a separate channel that's dedicated to filmmaking and behind the scenes. It's right here. So go click there and enjoy.